Okay, everybody, what's up? Scan the zone here, and I just wanted to talk about the new baby faces blaster in Team Fortress 2. And the first thing you'll notice is your base movement speed is a lot higher. Seriously, when I first picked up this weapon after the update, I realized that it seemed to be moving a bit faster, and the weapon still works in the same way you know, you shoot people, get your boost up to full speed. Now, the weapon's been changed a bit, and you see, you only get four shots in, for lack of a better word, magazine. And this can be a little bit annoying sometimes, but as you can't take on as many people, which anyway, you're not really meant to be doing, but the real trick with this weapon is to just run around and be annoying. And with the new Babyface Blaster, you can do exactly that. Now, you notice that I jumped, but my boost actually didn't go all the way down. It just only went down a little bit. Now, I think this is a much needed improvement as it allows you to just... For instance, the, the way I use it is I use it as... If I get caught on fire by a pyro because I'm using the Pretty Boy's pocket pistol, which uh, it gives you, it makes you more vulnerable against pyros. And seriously, you take five damage from the afterburn, and that five damage can really, really spell the end of you if you're not fast enough. So sometimes you'd get blasted up against a wall, and you'd need to jump over him. But if you did that, he'd be fast, then you'd catch up to you and burn you to flames and crisps. But now with the new Babyface Blaster, you can you can jump, but you can still outrun most classes. You still move way faster than scouts. You can you can, and you can just run around the base and distract them. Now, most of you will say that I wasn't really helping my team at all, but in actual fact, I think I was because I was distracting the enemies, allowing them to push the cart a bit further. For instance, that demo man would have gone down there and absolutely murdered our heavy with his stickies. Well, I think a heavy would have been taken on, but you know what I mean. So just so looking around for some more enemies to tackle. Now the route I'm taking is just pretty much a circle around the base, doing the occasional detour around into their into their actual spawn room. I decided not to get rid of that teleporter because it's just, it's just too risky, for instance a soldier or a pyro might walk out and just flame me to pieces. So, I decided I'd leave that to a class more suited for it. Getting enemies to run away from you is actually a pretty good tactic, because they're trying to find a hiding spot because they know that you can chase them down. They know that if you're using this weapon, they can, you can find them, and they, and you will kill them. So they really want to get away from you. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not sure if it's now or not because this is kind of an unscripted narration. But I can't remember if it's now. But I jumped, and my boost actually didn't go down at all. I, th I think this is because you can overboost yourself, so you get to a certain point and it just. <clears throat> Sorry. And it won't make you go any faster, but when you jump, it won't completely destroy your jump. I'm not quite sure. Now. And now, I don't know. That's, that scowl looked like he just turned into a spy, I don't know, but. I thought the spy was the scout, but then another scout appeared and I got really confused. And this unfortunate spells the end of my run. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.